Hey, this is Professor Perez from Santa Mac College. Today, we're going to talk about rates and unit price. Oh, what fun. Before we get started, we got to get out our student of the semester and that Charlie, he better be ready to go. Oh. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, you better be. Anyway, let's get started right there. Okay, Charlie, we're doing rates and unit price. So, here we go. A car travels 200 miles in four hours. What is the rate of the car in miles per hour? So you're asked, basically, how many miles do you go in one hour? That's what we're trying to find. Okay, so we start off with 200 over four. Notice we were asked for the rate in miles per hour, which means miles per hour. It's a ratio of miles to hour. It's another way of thinking about it. Okay, and so now we can reduce 204 over 4 by dividing top of the bottom by what, Charlie? 4, which gives us 50 over 1. So it's 50 miles per 1 hour. And so we write that as 50 miles over hour. That is our answer. Well, we can use an abbreviation, MPH, which means 50 miles per hour. MPH means 50 miles per hour. That's on the speedometer of your car, right? Well, what does 50 MPH mean? It means 50 miles per 1 hour. So there you go. Now, let's do another one, Charlie. A car travels 200 miles on eight gallons of gas. So this is a rate, but it's in, we're looking for miles per gallon here. So what is the fuel consumption rate of this car in miles per gallon, right? So miles per gallon means we have to put miles over gallon. So 200 miles over eight gallons, that's how we start. And now we can reduce, divide top and the bottom by 8, 200 divided by 8, you can use your calculator, that's 25, and of course 8 divided by 8 is 1, and so we get 25 miles per 1 gallon. So our answer is 25 miles per gallon, or we can use the abbreviation MPG, 25 miles per gallon. That means 25 miles per 1 gallon, so there you go. All right, Charlie, let's do another one. Here we go right here. A truck travels 375 miles in eight hours. So read the question carefully, Charlie. What is the rate of the truck in miles per hour? And then round to the nearest hundredth here. So we want the ratio of miles per hour, which means miles over hour. So here we go, 375 miles over eight hours. And now we get our calculator out and do 375 divided by 8, and what do you get, Charlie? 46.875. Very nice there. And now we're asked to round to the nearest hundredth. Which digit is in the hundredths place, Charlie? 7. That's right. Now, we look at the next digit, which is a 5, and because, remember, 5 or greater means you're going to round up, and so our answer is 46.88 miles per hour. That means we're going 46.88 miles per one hour. That's what it means. All right. Okay, Charlie, so now this was a rate and now we're going to go to unit price. Well, let's talk about this unit price problem. It says a 20 ounce cup of coffee costs $1.75. What is the unit price in cents per ounce for this cup of coffee to the nearest cent? So be careful. You got to read these questions carefully. Okay, so we're looking for the ratio of cents per ounce. But look at the information we're given, Charlie. It says that it costs $1.75 for 20 ounces, right? Now remember, we want cents per ounce. So we're not going to put 1.75, we're going to put 175. If you put 1.75, you'd have to say $1.75 dollars per 20 ounce. But we don't want dollars. We should know that a dollar and 75 cents is 175 cents, right? Okay, so now we've got our ratio cents per ounce. That's what we're asked to find. And if you take out your calculator, 175 divided by 20 is what, Charlie? 8.75. That's right, 8.75 cents per ounce. But remember, we were asked to round to the nearest cent. So, the nearest one cent. So, we have to look at our ones place, which is an eight. Because we can't have 8.75 cents, right? 
And so 8.75 cents, Charlie, we're going to round to the nearest whole number here, to the nearest cent. And after the 8 is a 7, right? And so we have to round up. And so we round up to 9. So our answer is 9 cents per ounce, right? So there you go. I mean, that's an approximation. All right. Let's do a couple more here, Charlie. Now, don't get scared. If a bottle contains 50, 50 vitamin tablets and it costs $24.50, what is the cost per vitamin tablet in cents per tablet? So what's the cost in cents per tablet? So our ratio is cents to tablet, right? So we want cents on the top and tablets on the bottom. But here we'll go ahead and put 24.50. Now notice that's dollars. That's dollars per tablets. Remember, we want cents per tablets. So let's go ahead and divide 24.50 by 50 and we get this 0 0.49. Now remember, we're still in dollars per tablet. Okay, but we were asked to find cents per tablet. So 0.49 dollars is how many cents, Charlie? 49. That's right. So to get our ratio correct for what we were asked, the answer is 49 cents per tablet. That means 49 cents per one tablet. So be careful and read the question carefully and be sure you're answering the question. Okay. Remember they wanted cents per tablet. There it is. Okay. Got one more here. Now if a jar containing 32 ounces of strawberry jam costs $5.44. What is the cost per ounce? And again, cents per ounce. So our final answer has to be cents over ounce, not dollars over ounce. Okay, so here it's $5.44 over 32 ounces. But notice here, I'm writing 544 cents over 32 ounces because if I put 5.44, then it would be dollars over ounce, but we want cents per ounce and we should know $5.44 is 544 cents, right? Okay, it's very tricky. Now, we've got a correct ratio cents per ounce. And so all we do is take our calculator out. What's 544 divided by 32, Charlie? 17, 17, and that's 17 cents per ounce. So there's your unit price. So there you go there. It's kind of tough. Be sure to read your questions carefully. Anyway, time to go. We'll see you all again soon.